guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Mathis and today I have a review for you guys. I'm reviewing Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. This book came out in 1977 and this is her third novel. So guys, before I give you my thoughts on this book, I'll give you guys a brief synopsis of the story. The story takes place in the 1950s in Michigan and it is centered around this young African-American man by the name of Milkman. He doesn't know why his family is so dysfunctional and so he goes on this adventure to find out uh, why his parents the way they are. So uh, he chases his, uh, his, family, his family tree and he finds out some really interesting things about his parents. Along the way he goes on this like self-discovery journey on finding himself. So guys, uh, my thoughts on this book, uh, I can't say I really enjoyed it all that much. The tone of this book is very dark and depressing, which I think is very common in Toni Morrison's work because I read Sula recently and it had the same type of depressing feel. And so, uh, yeah, you definitely get that throughout this book. However, the writing style is really tight, guys. It's really lyrical. I mean, the way she strung words together in this novel, it was like a symphony. So, I mean, it was just really good writing. Now, the plot, I can't say I really enjoyed it because I feel like the plot was very jumpy. It was like the narration was just everywhere. She tackles so many things in this book. She, she tackles incest molestation, abandonment, racism. Not to say they weren't well done, they were very well done and very poignant. However, I just feel like the story, some I just feel like some of the situations in this book were unsolved. Like for example guys like Ruth, Milkman's mother, their situation, I feel like that was not resolved at all. So, you know, I was like, Come on, Tony Morrison. By, by the way, uh, that's how Milkman got his name, is what went on between his between him and his mother. I'm not going to give it away. But yeah, that part was very interesting. I wanted to know more about that uh, situation. But it's just, she just didn't, she just left it as is. And I was like, oh man, you know. <laughs> but um, eh, it, that was a disappointment. But whatever. What can we do? It's her novel. So I was left very confused about certain situations. I was hoping she would tie it in at the at the end, but to my dismay, it did not happen that way. And about the ending, I didn't like how this novel ended. This novel ended very, I think, abruptly and very mysteriously. So uh, it was one of those convoluted endings, which I really don't care for in novels. She does touch on racism in America. Uh, in this story because it's not in your face it's very subtle so the way she tackles racism in this book is very unique and uh, I have to applaud her for that. The characters in this novel guys are very well developed uh, they very flushed out um, in this book which I really appreciated you really felt a, I really felt a connection with the characters and even though I didn't like most of the characters in this novel I really the way she read the, the the way she expressed their emotions, I actually feel like I knew the characters and also empathize with their situations. On that note, guys, overall, I gave this book three stars. The reason why I gave this book three stars is because, uh, like I said, the ending just was not cutting it for me, guys. I was not satisfied, and. Um, there were a lot of unresolved issues that went on in this book that I did not feel like she really took the time to finesse it a little bit. It was just okay. It was just okay, guys. Like I said, I was not very in love with this novel. I'm not going to say read it. You must read it. I'm not going to push this up, push this on you guys. It was just okay. I was not blown away by it. So I would recommend this book if you are looking for a novel that deals with family drama with complex characters. Also if you like novels like To Kill a Mockingbird because those two novels have similar themes so if you like that one I'm pretty sure you'll like this one. So that's my review of Song of Solomon. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and you know took in 
or learn something from this review. I uh, hope this review was very helpful to those who think on reading this book. <laughs> and yeah, and I'll talk to you all later. All right, bye.